Now here is the next question. Monochromatic light of wavelength 600 nanometer is used in a Young's double slit experiment. One of the slits is covered by a transparent sheet of thickness 1.8 into 10 power minus 5 meter made of a material of refractive index 1.6. How many fringes will shift due to the introduction of the plate? Okay, students should know this idea in a Young's double slit experiment. Now students are familiar with the fact that in an Young's double slit experiment, if you place a transparent medium of some thickness T in front of one of the slits, let this be the source of light, monochromatic source of light, let the thickness of this medium is T, let its refractive index be mu, then what is the effect of introduction of this plate in front of one of the slits. You have to have a look at the screen. Earlier, this was the center of the fringe pattern. Due to the introduction of this transparent plate, the entire fringe pattern get, get shifted. It gets shifted towards the place where you place the transparent plate. For example, in this case, you have placed the transparent plate in the upper slit therefore the entire fringe pattern gets shifted to the upwards let me say that the fringe center of the fringe pattern o is shifted to o dash if this is the process then how much is the shift the quantity of shift is given by delta x so delta x is the shift which is given by the expression delta x is equal to d by d into mu minus 1 into t this can also be written as d by d can be replaced by beta by lambda times mu minus 1 into t. And delta x is the shift in the fringe pattern. Since it contains integral number of fringes, you can always write delta x as n into beta, which means there are n number of fringes within the space which is equal to the shift delta x. So out of or using the given data, you are supposed to find out the number of fringes, how many fringes will shift. So we are supposed to find out the value of n here. You can directly cancel beta in this expression. Refractive index is given. Thickness of the plate is given. So uh, using these data, you will calculate the value of n. Let me write down the data here. Wavelength of light is 600 nanometer. The thickness of the plate is 1.8 into 10 power minus 5 meter. The refractive index of the material is 1.6. Let's calculate the value of N. Now N can be calculated using the formula N is equal to mu minus 1 into T divided by lambda. Students can make use of this formula directly for the shift produced in terms of number of fringes. So let me substitute the values. It is 1.6 minus 1 into thickness is uh, 1.8 into 10 power minus 5 divided by wavelength is you can write is uh, either it as uh, 6 into 10 power minus 7 or 0 0.6 into 10 power minus 6 since you get a 0 0.6 in numerator. I think I can cancel this 0 0.6 with this 0 0.6 and I am left with 1.8 into 10 power 1 that is plus 6 minus 5. So n becomes equal to 18. So this gives me the answer that there are totally 18 fringes which get shifted or in other words the shift produced in the fringe pattern is equal to 18 fringe widths or delta x is equal to 18 lambda. Let's go to the next question. Yellow light of wavelength 6000 angstrom produces fringes of width 0 0.8 millimeter in Young's double slit experiment. What will be the fringe width if the light source is replaced by another monochromatic source of wavelength 7500 angstrom and the separation of the slit is doubled? 
Okay, let's write down the two different cases explained here. I'll call this as first case and the other case as the second one, that is the second case. Here few parameters are changed from first case to second case and few parameters are left as they are. Now, what are those changed? Yellow light of wavelength 6000 angstrom. In the first case, we were using a wavelength of lambda 1 given by 6000 angstrom can be written as 6 into 10 power minus 7 meter. And in the first case, you are obtaining uh, a fringe width of 0 0.8 millimeter. I'll call it as beta 1 as 8 millimeter, sorry, 0 0.8 millimeter can be written as 8 into 10 power minus 4 of a meter. Then what will be the fringe width? That is, we are supposed to find out the fringe width in the second case for the new wavelength given by lambda 2 is equal to 7500 angstrom which can be written as 7.5 into 10 power minus 7 meter. Here slit separation is doubled in the second case. In the first case let me write the slit separation D1 as simply D and in the second case it has to be D2 is equal to since it is doubled to D. Now this is the difference between the two different cases. We are supposed to find out beta 2. So let me make use of the expression for fringe width. Fringe width expression is given by beta is equal to lambda d by d. Since uh, I need to express everything in terms of beta itself, let me write this in terms of beta's ratio that is beta 1 by beta 2 or beta 2 by beta 1 whatever which is more significant. So beta 2 by beta 1 is equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1 into d2 by d1 into d1 by d2. Now on substituting lambda 2 is nothing but 7.5 into 10 power minus 7 divided by lambda 1 is 6 into 10 power minus 7 and what about capital D since it is not mentioned that the distance of screen is altered you can always cancel this capital D1 and D2 so they remain unaltered and uh, now you can go to small d's in place of D1 you can write simply D and in place of D2 you can write 2D and since you want uh, to find beta 2 you can take that shift that beta 1 to the right hand side whose value is 8 into 10 power minus 4. Now you can cancel this uh, d's 10 power minus 7's and uh, 2 gets cancelled with this 8 4 times and what are we left with? We are left with 30 in the numerator 7.5 into 4 is 30 divided by 6 is beta along with there is 10 power minus 4. So this is uh, 3 by 6 into 10 power minus 3 that is equal to 0 0.5 millimeter or into 10 power minus 3 meter is the new fringe width. So new fringe width is 0 0.5 millimeter. Checking. Now the next question is like this. In Young's double slit experiment, the width of the fringes obtained with wavelength 6000 angstrom is 2 millimeter. Calculate the fringe width if the entire apparatus is immersed in a liquid medium of refractive index 1.33. Now, initially the Young's double slit experiment was carried out in air with some wavelength say 6000 angstrom where the fringe width was found to be 2 millimeter and later on the entire fringe pattern, the entire apparatus is immersed in water and we are supposed to find out the new fringe width or the change in fringe width. Now students should know that when the entire apparatus is immersed in water, the wavelength of the incident light gets changed. So as the fringe width, we know that fringe width is given by the expression lambda d by d. So when you immerse the entire apparatus in water, capital D and small d both remain unaltered. So what changes is only the wavelength of the incident light. Since beta is directly proportional to the wavelength of light, since d and d are constants, you can write beta in air divided by beta in water is equal to lambda in air divided by lambda in water. And from 
the basics of ray optics and from the basic knowledges we know that the ratio of the wavelengths in two media is nothing but the refractive index of that denser medium which is water in this case so by comparing beta with the refractive index i can write beta in water that is the fringe width inside water is given by fringe width in air divided by refractive index of water of course with respect to air now i'll make use of this relation now beta in air that is fringe width in air and refractive index of liquid both are given using which we'll calculate the new fringe width inside the liquid that is beta w is given by beta in air is a 2 millimeter that is 2 into 10 power minus 3 divided by refractive index of the liquid is 1.33 i think you can write that 1.33 as 4 by 3 that will be easier for simplification 4 by 3 into 10 power minus 3 so this is 6 divided by 4 is 1.5 therefore beta inside the liquid is 1.5 into 10 power minus 3 meter that is 1.5 millimeter here i have assumed that that liquid with refractive index 1.33 is water that's why I, I took those symbols as nw and beta w now have a look at the next question in young's double slit experiment using sodium light of wavelength 6000 angstrom 72 fringes are observed in the field of view how many fringes are observed using violet light of wavelength 4500 angstrom yeah, this problem is based on fringe width especially because on the screen if you consider a particular region which is called as the field of view let me say that let me consider that field of view now in this field of view there are some 72 fringes are observed due to sodium vapor lamp let me say that there are some n number of fringes due to some wavelength lambda if the number of fringes is n1 for a wavelength lambda 1 then what happens when I change the wavelength to lambda 2 when wavelength is changed to lambda 2 obviously the fringe width changes the fringe width may get reduced or increased depending upon the value of wavelength since fringe width is directly proportional to wavelength the fringe width alters the number of fringes within the field of view also so if the number of fringes originally is n1 for the wavelength lambda 1 when you change the wavelength into lambda 2 the number of fringes should get changed into n2 now for these two wavelengths what should remain same is this gap that is x that is the length of the portion of the screen on which the fringes are obtained so you can always make use of that distance formula for bright fringes let me take the distance of nth bright is always given by x is equal to n lambda d by d now if you use wavelength lambda 1 you get n number of bright fringes if you use wavelength lambda 2 you'll get some other number of fringes now since i have made use of the symbols n1 and n2 let me write this x as n1 lambda 1 d by d and in the second case it will be n2 lambda 2 d by d these d's will not get altered so we are varying lambda as a result of which n gets changed since x remains same for both the cases i can always write n1 lambda 1 d by d is equal to n2 lambda 2 d by d so this results in n1 lambda 1 is equal to n2 lambda 2 so i think i can now write down what are those n1s n2s lambda 1s and lambda 2s n1 is the number of fringes due to the sodium vapor lamp that is 72 and lambda 1 is 
the wavelength of sodium vapor lamp is 6000 angstrom that is 6 into 10 power minus 7 meter and the second case you have lambda 2 as 4500 angstrom that is 4.5 into 10 power minus 7 of meter and you are supposed to find out how many fringes are there due to this violet light that is n2 is to find out now n2 is equal to n1 lambda 1 divided by lambda 2 now substituting the respective values we get uh, n1 is 72 into lambda 1 is 6 into 10 power minus 7 divided by lambda 2 is 4.5 into 10 power minus 7 so this is 3 times and this is 4 times so the answer should be yeah I think uh, this has to be cancelled this gets cancelled 24 times so it has to be 96 number of fringes due to violet color is 96 it has to be more than that for yellow color since yellow has got greater wavelength the fringe width is greater for yellow than that for violet so within the given region yellow produces broader fringes whereas violet produces narrower fringes therefore within the given region you can accommodate more number of narrower fringes than the broader fringes therefore the number of fringes of violet color should always be greater than that for yellow color